well, I've been studying technology diffusion for the last 10 years. Um, technology diffusion is potentially one of the most significant drivers, if not the most significant driver of cross-country defense in productivity. And uh, over this time, I've tried both to understand uh, the reasons why countries adopt technologies at different rates and the consequences that this has for productivity and for productivity growth. Um, in this paper, um, we study how the process of technology diffusion has evolved over time um, in a wide range of countries, you know, approximately 150 countries, um, for 25 technologies that have been invented over the last 200 years. Um, and we think about technology diffusion as having two components. One is when technologies arrive to countries, and the second component is how uh, intensively they penetrate once they have arrived to countries. And so for each of these uh, 25 technologies and for each country, we measure each of these two components. And we try to understand how these components have evolved over time in our cross-section. And so what we find is that um, adoption lags have converged over the last 200 years, so that these differences in the lags with which technologies arrive to countries, they have declined dramatically. Uh, in contrast, uh, the intensity with which technologies have penetrated, that has diverged over the last 200 years. So that means that the gap in penetration rates between rich and poor countries used to be very small, and now they are much wider. So after understanding these key facts about the process of technology diffusion over the last 200 years, what uh, we do is to, in, uh, we try to explore the implications that this has had for the dynamics of productivity growth, that is, um, for the great divergence, for why uh, productivity um, cross-country difference have exploded over the last 200 years. And we do that by plugging those estimates of the dynamics of technology diffusion in a very, very simple uh, standard model of growth. And what we find is that basically the, the divergence of the intensity of use of technologies generates a divergence in productivity growth um, that not only overcomes the convergence in productivity associated with the convergence in adoption lags, but that is capable of explaining approximately 80% of the uh, great divergence. So that's basically the key, the key finding of the, of the paper. Well, uh, of course, all this research was done extremely carefully uh, using state-of-the-art tools, uh, both in the estimation of adoption lags and intensive margins for um, um, specific technologies uh, and using some state-of-the-art techniques to model uh, technology diffusion and productivity growth. Of course, you know, it was critical the use of our data set, the chat data set that I've put together with various co-authors, uh, including Bar Hobain from the San Francisco Fed over the last decade or so. And this data set covers uh, comprehensively the diffusion of uh, approximately 100 technologies, 104 technologies um, in uh, 154 countries over the last 200 years. Well, there are many, 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 many questions that I would like to continue doing in the future, but one that uh, it's unavoidable is to understand better what has been driving this divergence in the intensity of use of technologies. That seems like uh, one of those questions that w once you start thinking about, it's impossible to think about anything else. I think that once I answer uh, the question, you know, once I understand why uh, the intensity of use of technologies has diverged over time, um, I will I will be able to draw policy implications uh, that that can help us, uh, you know, redirect that trend and and that may help us understand better or may help us. Uh, 
poor countries grow at faster rates and converge eventually to the rates of, of, of rich countries. Um, probably um, those policies will be targeted to increasing the technological knowledge that people and companies have in developing countries. Um, but uh, for this, first I need to uh, prove that this is actually what is driving the dynamics of the intensity of use of technologies in poor countries. Um, and second, we need to find effective ways to impact the technological know-how of people and companies in developing countries.